welcome. Let's look at the histology of the testes. We've described the testes as one of the external genitalia organ in male. It is located in the scrotum, and this is the gross configuration of the testes. It is divided into about 200 lobules, and each of the lobules contains about one to four seminiferous tubules. These are the seminiferous tubules. In this lecture, we are going to focus strictly on the histology of the testes. So let's go. If a section of the testes is processed into histological section, this is the kind of presentation that we'll see. We'll see the seminiferous tubules has this rounded configuration. Because we said that each lobe contains seminiferous tubules and interstitial tissue, we'll see the seminiferous tubules and we'll see around it the interstitial tissue. So within the seminiferous tubules, we see different types of cells. We see the spermatogenic cell and the sertoli cell. So for the spermatogenic cell, we see them lined around the border of the seminiferous tubules, and they are seen in layers. And this tends to give a form of stratification to the wall of the seminiferous tubules. So when you view it, that is why we see it in form of stratified presentation, whereby the sperm cell is seen at different stages of maturation. So at this still hand, if we zoom in into this image, we'll see that at this region, we have dark pigmented cells, which are called the spermatogonia. So these are the spermatogonia cells. They are seen at the margin of the seminiferous tubules. Then after which the spermatogonia will further develop into primary spermatocytes. From there, we have the secondary spermatocytes, which, which finally become the spermatid. These spermatid are seen like a thread-like presentation just close to the lumen of the seminiferous tubule. So if we zoom through it, to see how the, the spermatids look like. So we see this thread-like configuration just close to the central lumen of the seminiferous tubules. So the spermatid will finally develop into the spermatozoa and the spermatozoa are finally emptied into the central region. So this is like the circumference of the seminiferous tubules. So we have cell dividing progressively from one stage of development to the other. We have the cells coming from this end of the seminiferous tubules and they tend to divide towards the center. And as they divide, they are continuously being developed from one form to the other until when they get to the final maturation stage, which is the spermatozoa, and that is finally being released into the lumen. So we have the central part, which contains the spermatozoa. So, so we have the spermatogenic cell being located around the wall of the, the seminiferous tubules. Then the second type of cell that we have is the sertoli cell. They are the supporting cell and are located within the spermatogenic cell. So they tend to give like a, a structural support to the spermatogenic cell. And they also help to provide nutrients and nourishment for the developing spermatogenic cells. And this is the sertoli cell. You see it embedded within the spermatogenic cell. This is what the sertoli cell looks like. This is another sertoli cell in this region of the seminiferous tubule. Then we have the third type of cell, the legi cell or the interstitial cell of legi. We said that each lobe of the testis is made up of seminiferous tubules and interstitial tissue. So outside the seminiferous tubules, we have the interstitial tissue located. So within this interstitial tissue is where we have the legi cell located. This is the legi cell. This is another legi cell seen in this region. Function of this cell is that they are responsible for the production of testosterone. So thanks for watching. Let's meet again.